What's up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingNews.com, and welcome back to another week of our Kentucky Derby Top 5 Prospects. We go through the Top 5 once again this week. It's kind of been a broken record the last few weeks, but we'll say it again. No changes to the Top 5 uh, this week uh, as well. as It's kind of been that way for the last month or so. Top five going to remain the same, but we do have a little bit of um, you know news to kind of kind of go through here. We had three really impressive three year olds this uh, this past weekend that we'll talk about. Uh, number one, Kings Barnes, which was a debut maiden special weight winner at Gulfstream Park on Saturday. Go check that one out. I believe it was race eight on that card. If you haven't seen it already, uh, pretty pretty solid win for this horse. Uh, Todd Fletcher trains uh, got a decent number as far as speed figure goes goes on now, uh, I'm sure, to either an allowance or a derby prep off of that race. So we'll see Kings Barnes. Uh, did not put him in the top 20, but a horse that you know, definitely is worth uh, keeping an eye on. The Bob Baffert train hit Jazzy. Uh, $3.3 million purchase. Finally got the uh, maiden broke uh, at, at Santa Anita on Sunday. Got a 97 buyer for the effort. Uh, did not put the horse in the top 20 either, but right on the fringe. Uh, you know, the biggest thing is, you know, it was a one-turn race. We'll see. Uh, you know, when the horse stretches out, we'll see what happens. So, uh, but I, I, he did catch the eye. He's got a lot of talent. It's going to wait for him to stretch out before we go crazy on him. And then at Oakland Park Saturday in the fourth race, verifying wins and allowance uh, at right side right there at Oakland for Brad Cox. Earned a high buyer speed figure as well, a 97, which was a high, uh, a, you know, a higher buyer than Ginobili. Uh, who was an older horse, obviously, who won the fifth season on that same day. Faster time as well for Verifying. This is a really good horse with a really nice pedigree. I did put Verifying in the top 20. Uh, he is at number 12 for me. I like the foundation that he uh, kind of has as a, you know, racing as a two-year-old. I think he's going to be pretty decent uh, as a three-year-old. He looks like he's really improving, but not in the top five. Let's go to the top five now. And uh, like I said, no changes. Victory formation is number five coming off that win uh, in the Smarty Jones stakes. We're going to see him next. Maybe the Risen Star, maybe the Rebel. We're not quite sure yet, but this uh, this is a horse that uh, has looked very, very good in all of his starts. So victory formation. He's number five for me going into this week. Number four is Instant Coffee. Guess what? Instant Coffee, we're going to see him this weekend. That's right. Instant Coffee going to run in the Conte stakes at Fairgrounds. Very exciting uh, that we have a horse in our top five that's getting ready to run. So, hey, we may see some changes next week, finally, to this top five. Uh, Instant Coffee drew uh, the seven post field of eight and that Lacante Stakes. By the way, we'll have a preview of the Lacante Stakes coming up real quick this week uh, as the race is already drawn. And so we'll see. Uh, we'll get my thoughts on Instant Coffee and if he's going to win or lose that race. Make sure to check that out. All right, number three, Arabian Night. Still kind of waiting for when he's going to run next. Uh, not quite sure. Haven't heard any news on him. Obviously, very impressive allowance winner at Keeneland. Arabian Night, looking for that second start for Bob Baffert. Continues to work. Just haven't seen an entry yet from him. We'll see what happens uh, as we go down the road. Number two, Cave Rock, of course. The horse that was supposed to be unbeatable at the Breeders' Cup was defeated by our number one horse. We'll talk about it in a second. But still, Cave Rock, really good horse. Uh, has has looked uh, fantastic. You know, in all of his starts, and even in that Breeders' Cup, he got second. He didn't run fantastic that day, but he still ran okay. So I'm still a, a fan of Cave Rock. I've got him at number two. The Rebel Stakes at Oakland Park last weekend in February. It sounds like where he's going to show up for his next start. So we'll look forward to that. And then, of course, number one, Forte, three-time grade one winner as a two-year-old. What does that mean when they turn three? Well, nothing really. you got to have to prove it all over again. But he's very good. I think he's got reasons to improve. He's a big horse. There's a lot to him. I'm sure we'll see him at Gulfstream Park. I'm guessing the Fountain of Youth Stakes is where we'll see Forte first. We'll see if that turns out to be the case. But he's a nice horse, and he's going to be tough to beat. All right, that's the top five for this week. Five victory formation, four instant copy, three Arabian Night, two Cave Rock, one Forte. We'll see you back here next week. Instant coffee runs this weekend in the Lacante Stakes at Fairgrounds. Maybe we'll have some changes to this top five one way or another after that race. Maybe we won't. We'll see. All right, guys. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hit like if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Want to get alerted anytime we do these kind of videos. Um, and most importantly, good luck this weekend and all your bets. And we'll see you back here next week uh, with a new Derby Top 5. RacingDudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track across the country.
We're ramping up for the 2023 Kentucky Derby and we want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to Racing Dude's YouTube channel like click the notification bell so you never miss a single video. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.